All right, the question is, hello Daniel, I have a question for the podcast and I would be interested to hear your thoughts and hopefully spur your listeners' thoughts. All right, everybody listen up and be prepared to give me your thoughts. Please uh, comment down below your thoughts after I'm done reading the question. And if you are on Anchor, I will ask this question out through Spotify and through Anchor. So if you're listening to Anchor, the question should pop up when you're trying to listen. Question is, I am in a new position as a project manager for my company. All of my time so far has been from my structural background, but now I am getting into more mechanical driven jobs. While this is very fun and exciting, I feel behind the eight ball on things sometimes. What advice would you give to someone to quickly train themselves on a subject so they have a basic understanding of things? Any resources you know of, YouTube channels, podcasts? Thank you. This is from John. Well, thanks John for the question. You know what? As you may know, I am not a project manager, so I don't have that first-hand experience. I did do a little research on on uh, YouTube, and I didn't find any YouTube channels that I liked. They were all kind of super generic and like the kind of things that you'd see like in a learning management platform, like super slideshowy, how to project manage type things, and. That's not really quite what you're looking for, but, you know, my first place my brain goes to is, I imagine that there's, if there's mechanically driven jobs, this is a consulting background, I'm assuming, um, and you were a structural engineer, so you worked on these jobs, and they're probably multi-discipline jobs. You have structural engineers, which is what you did, or structural designers, and then they had uh, mechanical electrical process and it makes sense that mechanical kind of drives the project uh, the mechanical part of the project is in the process part of the project sometimes people lump those together really uh, impact the electrical and the foundations the structural uh, that, that is kind of the core of this pro these projects and they kind of build out from there I'm guessing that for all these mechanical driven projects that there is a mechanical engineering lead and it might take a little bit of extra work and time, but one thing I would recommend doing is maybe shadowing that lead and, and maybe sitting in on some of their design meetings that they have with their engineers and their designers and, and, and spending a little bit more time with them uh, because, again, you don't have that as much background doing what they do and, you know, it, it won't come right away. I, I mean, I don't... I mean, I, nobody would expect you to be able to get it right away. And the other thing I, I, I remember is that I think that you were probably hired into this position, placed in the posi this position by somebody that knew that you had a structural background. So they're, I'm guessing that they're not expecting you to be an expert in all things mechanical. And so I would just take that attitude of knowing that you, you're not expected to know all things mechanical people that are working with you know that your background is structural and you can even kind of say that with a place of humility uh, whenever you're working as a project manager but you know I think that if you do a really good job of the project management aspects of the job so place a lot place a lot of energy on the things that you do know about like how to run a project effectively being highly communicative engaging people then I think that that will definitely result in a successful outcome for you and combining that with spending some more time shadowing the mechanical engineers uh, would definitely be helpful. My background is mechanical but I can't say that I have ran a project so again I'm not the most qualified to respond to this but um, anybody that is in the audience uh, feel free to send in a list of any podcasts or YouTube channels that you listen to to help spruce yourself up more on mechanical engineering concepts and and for engineering consulting for energy and chemicals or uh, food and beverage, uh, whatever, whatever background you have. Uh, I'd really be curious to hear the audience and everybody else's response to this question. But for me, I, I just really lean heavily on my mechanical SME. Um, acknowledge that that's just not my specialty, but and I'm not going to get it right away but really work hard and, and be highly communicative about the project management aspects of the job. And if, if you, you don't have to know everything, but if you can run a project well, then people will definitely appreciate that. So 
that's my take. Sorry, John, I'm not the best responder here for this question, but I know I appreciate you. I appreciate your support of the podcast, and I know that you're going to do great in the role. So cheers to you, John. Thanks for the question, and we'll revisit this in the next episode of the podcast. Thanks for watching this segment of the Engineering Success Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All those things really help me out. They boost me up in the YouTube algorithm and they'll help other people see this great content. I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated. I cannot explain in layman's. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries. Thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather think Spotify. They put me on the station.